There it is. Isn't that beautiful? We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be a clear depth soon, so risk thing and be careful. You're on your own. Okay. Now, first, I want to say this. This is obviously immersion breaking. This is not the way the game was intended to be explored. In fact, I had seen clips on YouTube shorts from people kind of breaking out and showing how the game worked because it's actually kind of an intriguing setup. Excellent game development stuff. I know these are spoilers, but if you're watching, I've already warned you. So this is going to ruin everything for you. Now, in this mod, I do have the ability to do this which will remove that post-processing like CRT effect, which will also show up in the pictures and I can see things more clearly. But for the sake of, you know, keeping as uh, what little integrity is left, I'm gonna leave this on. We'll travel like this for now. And as you can see, when we go forward, we go forward. Now I've increased my FOV because if I didn't, when I'm pressing these buttons, you wouldn't be able to see the window or the hatch really well to see where we're going. Bottom left right here, this is us. It's you, it says, look, it says you. So if we actually rotate, it might be a little confusing, but we our square turns. I wish this would be like a, be a point or something, you know, but maybe the mod can be improved upon, I don't know. Now, in regards to the update, the update is filled with backstory, which I'm excited to learn about, and I think there's been an added location. And to be fair, when I first saw this update, I saw like the concept art or the cover art for this. And I was, I got terrified because I thought that maybe they were gonna add something like that in. Now, I don't know if it is in, I doubt it is. I don't think that that's gonna be a part of this. But regardless, I, I, I was covering both of these at the same time, because I wanted to make the video a little bit more intriguing uh, than just reading stuff, you know? The problem is, is that the, the way this mod works in particular, while we physically have the terminal in here if i click nothing happens the script and the code written for the terminal to be a thing doesn't exist in this modified version so unfortunately i'm gonna have to interweave a regular gameplay interaction with the terminal into this but i'll space it out you know maybe i'll, I'll make it a little bit moody you know kick back relax it's iron lung okay we we, we, we take our time why does it look like there's an eye like just constantly on the window okay on forward all right i don't like this okay this is infinitely more that just appeared so these are bones right look at that Ooh. okay uh i gotta be 322 186 i still have to do this properly there it is will this count they counted. Oh, that's so weird to be able to move in on it like this. I feel disillusioned, but it also feels real. Like, I don't know that there'd be any other way to really experience this other than the ingenious way it was done. Ooh. Wait, that's a lot closer than... <gasps> oh no, I shouldn't have looked at its bare skin. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, huh? Can we go through this? Okay, I guess we can just push through it. Excellent. Forward, friend. Forward. Okay, 378, 263. 378, 263. Okay. That's it. Eesh. Oh, this is a perfect... Hold on. This is perfect. I'm gonna cheat for... A second? What is that? I knew there was something here. It's a rock. Oh, that's weird. Oh, okay. It was just a rock. Could still be a carcass. All right. Terminal. Here we go. COI information terminal. This is a local database. Be sure to update before each descent. Last updated today. Five out of 378. Help. Unknown query list hello world help me koi that's funny Ooh, okay oh, wait will we get it moving so we're okay so we're coming up on the uh beetlejuice stuff right so will we see it moving in real time god ah, there it is is it no 
No, it's not. Okay. Okay, yeah, the sound is definitely supposed to be implying that though, right? Nice. Well, it didn't count. What? Now, I want to try and travel around here now that we can see. I feel like going through those secret pathways is going to be a lot easier, right? This back here. I found that weird like monument back here that was making some kind of noise. Forward. Oh! I could type in Koi. The consolidation of iron or Koi is a brotherhood of three space stations and two spacecrafts found. Oh, this is the last people found on the principle of collectivism and ruled by the popular vote of all citizens numbering 257 at the time of this entry. Its name comes from the iron and steel materials its two main stations are constructed from and the principle of unity uh, and togetherness in the face of menace from other surrounding stations such as Eden. Oh my god. Space Station Eden is the largest man-made structure that still exists in the wake of the Quiet Rapture. It was formerly the main station for Mars, and the populace still maintain a strong sense of Martian patriotism and independence, making them a constant threat to the sanctity and security of the COI. It has a current population of 468 and has the only known remaining trees in its interior garden. The COI considers Eden a threat to all collective well-being after their attack on Filament Station? Okay, I lied. I'm using the, I'm using this. <laughs> it's way easier to see stuff, dude. Where are we? Oh, we're in it. There's nothing but walls around here. Oh, this is gonna be fun in the open. Oh my god. Yeah, I just can't imagine. I, you know, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm taking a moment to say this, and I know I don't know how much lore we've explored so far because I'm I'm recording IGP right now. But I want to say it. I honestly feel more safe and like secure, like a warm blanket is over me, uh, being at the bottom of this blood ocean than I do being out in the vastness of dark, empty space. God, it sounds terrifying. At least I have a light. People have a, a, there's a general fear of the dark and the unknown and being unable to see what's in front of you. That's that like an innate primitive fear. Uh, and it's just like exacerbated beyond belief. You can't see out there. I mean, you will for a little bit, but eventually the light from the, the stars beyond like 50 light years away aren't really gonna do much, right? Maybe it would, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that Maybe that light is enough to illuminate quite a bit considering that they don't really do much to us uh, on Earth. I don't know. Uh-oh. That's a musical shift. I love it. Oh, it's the... Yeah! Would I have been able to see that? Was that something? Yep, I knew it. This is the fish one. I knew I saw you, dude. Oh, it's the same fish. It's the same. Oh, I can get close to it. Oh, 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 God. Oh, that is fucking awful, man. Oh, yeah, dude. That is brutal. So he's just sitting there. It's just so immersion breaking, but still very creepy, you know? I'm just going to drive right into the mouth. Oh, it's, it is a physical thing. Oh, the texture is just stretched over it. Whoa, whoa, that is so weird. I wonder, wait, can I take the picture without getting it right and he won't go away? You know what I mean? Hello? Ooh, he's still there. Let me get a nice little, let me get a nice little profile picture for this boy. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty terrifying, dude. It's got multiple layers of teeth. I thought those were just like, those are multiple layers. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Enough of that. We got to turn around, line ourselves up. I'm curious to see the eye. What is that thing? What is that? Oh! It's the bones. Oh, fucking God! 
Yeah, let, me, let, let me learn a little bit about the Quiet Rapture first before we dive too deep into that. In 357 EIC, without any prior warning, radio contact with our respective planets was suddenly cut. Nobody can recall having visual contact with any planets when the incident occurred or experiencing any other unusual phenomena so it's uncertain what exactly might have happened. It was observed independently by several stations that were there had previously been planets, nothing remained. Further investigation over the following months revealed that all known planets with sentient life, flora and fauna, a habitable atmosphere, or any sort of natural resources were likewise gone, along with all known stars. The only celestial bodies that have been found since are either uninhabitable moons or asteroids. Many theories have been proposed for this disaster, including religious interpretations of it as a literal rapture, some unknown quantum anomaly or something more cosmic and sinister. There are no concrete answers yet. Yeah, you know what it is. You bled it to a different universe, man. It's not the planets and the stars that disappeared. It was you. Were you just a dinosaur who was teleported? 613-197, 613-197. Do regular first. That's what we normally see. Right, right, right. And now. Woo! What is that part? Yeah, I can see the post processing effects have to be in. This is actually kind of the thing about Beware. When I did the Beware mod, without the cinematic effects on, it really made it look goofy. It's amazing what like some post processing can do to make things look like, not realistic, but more believable. I wanna go down here. Let's go down here. Okay, bunch of rocks that could be teeth, bones, it's nothing. It's just a void, man. That, you know, I noticed there's actually a lot of people that talk about Iron Lung not being a good game. And that's fine if that's your opinion. But I've seen a lot of people who say this, they say that they couldn't find anything. What is this? Is this the building? Oh, it's the building! This is supposed to be scratching. Well, now I can finally see if there's really anything in these windows. I guess not. So this is the moment I get teleported, right? Isn't it? We'll get to see it live too. I think, right? <gasps> God damn it! It jerked my camera around way too much, man! We didn't get to see it. I'm sorry, guys. Mm. No, come back, dude! Okay, so there's a big old, big old space beyond this next one. All right, beautiful. What's behind you, huh? All right, there's nothing back here. I'm not disappointed. I like exploring. Sometimes you don't find what you want to find, you know? Oh boy. Oxygen notification. Right, I already know what happens though. Shit, maybe something's different though. <laughs> maybe they changed it with the update. Ah, here are the columns. That I only found out because I just took a picture to see like how close the walls were. Holy shit. Filament station. The filament station was the fourth and largest space station in the COI until 362 EIC, uh, when tensions between the Koi and Eden erupted in a nine day battle on the station. The conflict battle ended unresolved when Eden troops resorted to sabotaging the station's reactor, resulting in a critical breach. Redacted, oh no. The breach left filament station uninhabitable due to the high levels of radiation, and it has sat empty since. Prisoners taken during the conflict have been undergoing a conviction realization in the years since, with the final ones expected to repay. Oh, I was on there. Oh my God, right? Because that's what I'm doing. A humane form of criminal justice used by the Koi, where crimes are repaid by rendering services to the general collective. Often this is by performing surveys, maintenance, and other similarly beneficial tasks. Dang, that's exactly what I'm doing. SM13, dude. Yeah, that's great, dude. Wow.
at this open place though i gotta check that out there's gotta be something back there you wouldn't make this whole damn thing for nothing right all right this one should work Oof, man get a different angle on this guy it's not as spooky but still pretty good okay so i can be pretty far from the walls here see them rendering and see that there's nothing there's nothing back here dude man there really was nothing there holy hell all right i guess we're going to skinny place which has the teleporter right that weird like anomaly like a light anomaly animating dude yeah there's the screen doing the weird stuff take a picture take a count yes okay now we get the opportunity to actually go in it Imagine if they programmed it where if you get the perfect angle inside of it, because obviously we're taking the picture as if we're just observing it because we got to report back to the Illuminati above sea level. Just imagine if you could peek into a, like an alternate world, just if you get it perfect, you know, that would be an amazing little Easter egg. Contributes nothing to the game. It's not something you have to do, but if you do it, if you're daring enough on your first try to actually go into it, you take a picture and it's like some other world. Dude. You know what the weird thing to think about is? Like if the planets disappeared, did everything on the planets disappear? Like how? <gasps> I saw us teleport that time. <laughs> we got the last one to do. All right, continuing what I was saying, did the planets disappear with everyone on them? It did say that the only people that were left were, you know, on spaceships and, and whatnot. Is it because you were within a certain radius of that planet, like Earth disappearing? What is that based on? A certain radius? Everything, but the moons were left. If the planets disappeared, Earth disappeared, whatever other planets we colonized disappeared under our feet and we were left in the vacuum of space, we would all be dead and none of us would be able to report it. And because of the loss of gravity, I don't know how that reaction would happen, but maybe we're all sent in some random direction and we'll never, never heard from again. It's as if we disappeared, you know? Dude, oh my God. Yeah, he's gonna stay there until I look. Oh my God. Okay, fine. Holy shit. Ah. Oh my God. Re Discoveries on moon AT5 redacted. I typed in monster. I was trying to see if they had the information on the monster. Moon 85. This entry has been redacted. See blood oceans. Oh my God, dude. I feel like I am. Go I'm getting deep. I have hacked into the database, dude. I'm going way too deep. An unexplained phenomenon that has been identified on four separate moons since the quiet rapture. Moon 85 and Moon Z8 are the most notable locations as they are under the control of the COI. Enough research has been conducted on the blood itself to determine that it is indeed human blood, but we have not discovered where it comes from or how it keeps its liquid form. The ocean at 85 is of particular interest because redacted Z8. Okay, the site of one of our of one of four known blood oceans and one of two such moons under the control of the ECOI redacted. Moon Z8 has historically been used for the realization of koi convictions until the discovery of moon 85. that means that there's stuff that i can type in that's not highlighted and i can go down a different rabbit hole dude that's go ah i was about to say it was such a horrifying moment when like all of your fears are solidified you know like you're you're bumping into stuff maybe you saw the fish face and you could make it out but then you get that eye and it's like all right i'm, I'm dead this is this is it stop filling up with blood all right so i'm going through the skinny part here i'm gonna go all the way around i'm gonna see how far back this goes i did explore this when i played originally 
but I don't think I, I'm pretty sure it was all just walls we'll see I found it was right here actually I found the, the little monolith I was told there were other things to discover on the map I'm wondering if did I find because there's no new things maybe the mod messed with it maybe now the monolith is marked because we haven't found anything completely different uh-oh uh-oh is that the monolith s m e what is this <gasps> wait is this another another goddamn submarine i mean homie you made it pretty far if that's the case Okay. You know, it is shaped like, yeah, it's shaped like mine. SMA, yes. Okay. Hopefully they don't redact this before updating the database. What most people don't understand is that not all subs are built equal. The SM8 isn't a burner sub. It really is for exploring and surveying blood oceans. If they send you down in the iron lung, they don't give a fuck if you come back or if the sub comes back because it's a pile of garbage and you're a piece of shit. You come back with photos, great. You sit down there and suffocate quietly, even better. But if they send the SM8 down, one of the scientists is piloting and they all expect them to return. And now the SM8 is in the blood ocean in pieces. No, not hit a rock pieces or sprung a leak pieces. It looks like something tore it up. And the weirdest thing is that nobody else seems surprised. We might've found the first planetary life since the rapture, and they're acting like it's no big deal. I know you're next in line for realization in the Iron Lung, and usually that means you won't be seeing the stars again, but they don't have a SM8 anymore. They have three burner subs and a lot of curiosity about AT5, and maybe that means you have a chance. What? So the SM13, one of four in-service underwater crafts fashioned by the Koi for use in conviction realization in the blood oceans. It is designed for deep liquid photography and analysis. All rumors of the SM-13 and similar crafts being used for so-called mob justice by way of forced suffocation or otherwise have been proven false. Really? With the redacted information? Okay. Yeah, this has gotta be it. I don't know what that sound was. Yeah. This is it. So it's not a monolith. It kind of just looked like one. Very strange. It just looks like a bone, like it's a reused asset from something else. Because again, this one's not marked and it's not part of the update. I found this one in my original playthrough. Okay, straightforward is the thing. What was it again? those little creepy crawly things right there and strange spiky stuff 295 and i think this is when i turn around and it gets me right could i do it if i'm backed away like this though right come on oh, God. yeah they don't uh they don't want you taking a picture they don't want you taking a picture of that I don't think I even got a glimpse of that before. Oh, the SM-13. The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images show pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. The stars shine pale as bones. The moon is a lifeless corpse. It's ocean, a gaping wound. The universe, what's left of it is dying, but somewhere in the void, there must be hope. My name for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this is, uh, it was incredible to see it in this, in this kind of manner. I don't think we broke it too much. If you want to try it out for yourself, uh, you have to Google the mod. I'm not going to link to the site. You find it on Reddit. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Love you. See you next time.